Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it is Francesco here. In today's video what we're going to be doing is diving into Nirvana. Now the reason why I want to review Nirvana is because this is probably one of the most requested videos. Uh, I get a lot of requests for new videos uh, on this YouTube channel and a lot of the time they, they have quite intense or quite detailed applications and I try my very best to chase them up as fast as I can. I mainly try and cover the big ones first because they're the ones that most people use. But Nirvana has been one of the most requested ones as a GTD task management application. And what I'll be doing today is reviewing it over on the Mac and also on the iPhone as well to demonstrate some of the features and functions. I'll also be going into the details on my opinion, pricing and information like that that will be helpful for your decision to whether you're gonna use it as a to-do this application. So I'm really hoping that you enjoyed today's feature. I'm gonna be demoing on the Mac, so we'll be jumping over to there. Just before we go, I want to say thank you very much to everyone for supporting this YouTube channel. The, the reason why uh, we obviously review applications like this is because you put them in the comments below. You put them over on Twitter, you put them on the Facebook group. So if you're not part of any of those, make sure to join them. I'll include a list of places where you should be uh, in the description below. It'd be amazing to have you there in, in the community. Uh, but And just one final note, I have my Skillshare course, which is available in the description below, uh, two months free Skillshare Premium is included, although if you don't have access, do let me know. I'll send over a free link. So without further ado guys, let's dive into Nirvana. In today's video, we are reviewing Nirvana HQ, which is an application available on iPhone, iPad, Android and web. And what I want to do today is go over the web version, which is very similar to the iOS and Android version. So what I want to do today share that web version and maybe give you an insight into the iOS application as well. We'll get it up here on the screen. So here we are with Nirvana HQ. Now this is first and foremost a GTD application. It is a task manager that can be used to help organize yourself across your workday. Now what I was impressed with straight away was the strict focus it had on GTD. Now it's harder to find I would say Applications that strictly focus their attention on GTD, mainly because GTD is a very structured process. Now, I, for myself, follow a lot of some of the patterns and processes of GTD, but what I don't do is strictly use a focused application like that. Mainly because over time, I think when I was learning it, when I was applying it, uh, I took my own sort of route with it. I use I guess GTD as a principle, but not as a strict process. I find I've broken out and created my own workflow and uh, activity, but with the same and background of GTD. So as you can see here, this is Nirvana HQ for web. They, as I was saying, they have an iOS and Android version, and it's a very impressive application. I've been very impressed because this is something that you guys have been badgering on about. I've been like, what is Nirvana? And uh, and I obviously checked it out a little bit beforehand, but then I was like, I'll jump in full and give it a full uh, rundown. And I spent a couple of days using this over the week and I was very impressed. Uh, and it is an application that does follow GTD very consistently. So what I wanna to do today is focus our attention on the features, go through some of the fundamentals of it, mainly because I wanna give you some insights into whether it's a useful tool for you. So as you can see on the left hand side, you've got a host of different areas. So you have collect, which in GTD terms is capturing a new action uh, for later and being able to process it as well. So you've got actions where you've got next, waiting, scheduled and someday. You've also got focus, projects and reference as well as tags just below here. You've got cleanup too, which is logbook and trash. Now, I want to quickly run over these. So inbox is a place where you want to add a few to do's for later. So for example, uh, let's say uh, clean up the dishes. Now, you're probably wondering what I press to do that in a rapid uh, way. Uh, now, you can go up here and actually choose a new item. Uh, that's a new action for the inbox. You can press I. You can add a new action uh, to your focus, pressing F or do P and L for different uh, project and reference and also create your own tag. But when I was inside that inbox, all I did was press N and it quickly created a new action. So as you can see here, I've added clean up dishes. Um, I'm going to add it to home 
as a tag. Tagging is very important in GTD. And I'm gonna add a few notes. So uh, use the new Fairy Liquid uh, as a note. As you can see here, I can add time, which is an important contextual part of the GTD process. So I'm gonna add 10 minutes required for that. A low level of intensity, and you can add a due date as well. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Now you can change the project from here. So you can move it to next waiting or scheduled or even someday, or you can actually like put it inside a project as well so i'm just going to click save and as you can see it's been added to my inbox it's very simple uh, and a very easy place to start adding a bunch of uh, to do's so for example if i wanted to add a heap of them what would happen as well is up here all of these filters would appear so the filters only appear when uh, you've added stuff which is very helpful so you can add uh, the filters there and it will help you filter out certain stuff in your inbox so for example let's say i wanted to uh, get going on this uh, specific item inside of my inbox so what i can do is i can drag it over to next if i like next uh, indicates any of the next actions that you have uh, whether they have a due date or not so for example if i wanted to drag this one into next i could very easily and what will happen is it will appear inside of the next tab. It will have actions and again the filtering system uh, that you can go over. Now we've also got waiting. So waiting is an area where you can store tasks or things that you are waiting uh, for other people to complete. So for example, they could be like, uh, you know, for example, here, like Bob meeting notes. He needs to send them over. So they're for a conference call. Bob needs to send them over. You could add, for example, like uh, whenever anything is in the other person's court uh, and you're waiting on them to get back to you, you can add it to here. And this is very helpful because as soon as they become active or as soon as that project starts moving forward and it's in your court, you can drag it over to next or scheduled uh, or even someday if it's relevant. Now, scheduled is very useful. These are for the items that have certain due dates, uh, which are very useful. And as you can imagine, I've got a few here. So this one here is planning the swipes workflow feature. I've added a due date to it of the 6th, which I believe is tomorrow. Uh, you can remove that date from there and you can add it to the scheduled. So that gives an indication of a start date. So if I wanted to add a new start date to it of the 20th of December, uh, so that would move it in the scheduled area over to there. Uh, the due date would remain the same, uh, but as you can imagine, so as you can see, due date there, but the actual action date, the start date of the piece will be December will be December 20th. Now, that probably confuses you a little, but I can obviously change the due date to maybe the end of the year, which would make more sense. Uh, so as you can see, the start date is here and the due date of that completion is there. Now, I've also added the regular contextual items to it and even tags. Uh, I've done a few of these earlier, but if I wanted to, uh, say, move these, uh, I can still do that into the next area. So, for example, let's say I want to review OmniFocus soon, uh, then I pop it in there. And as you can see, it will populate that next actions area. Now, someday is a very simple area where you can add someday items. Uh, mostly they could be like long term goals or long term things that you want to do uh, or even like things that you have thought about uh, presents, items, things like that. As you can see, I've got traveling to Finland and running 50 kilometers in day there. You've also got done, which is hidden. Uh, that was what I added earlier. Uh, clean out the attic. Uh, and you can add all of that lovely stuff there. So they do include done, which is hidden. Uh, and again, you can filter all of these out too, uh, which is very helpful. And you can even add all of the lovely stuff to them. So that, it, that applies to all of the activities. So you can add due dates, areas where you can bring them into, like for example, home or work. You can add uh, contacts to them as well. Uh, that's contact section, which I'll explain in a bit. Labels, uh, time which is very helpful. So the time associated with energy levels, action states uh, and convert, you know, moving them to a certain folder and converting them to a reference list or a reference item. Now, ooh, this is a little bit harder to, yeah, you can actually put it into a reference item inside of a reference list. So as you can imagine, focus is a helpful area for tasks that you are doing currently. So as you can see, my focus right now is completing the Nirvana uh, review.
so I can obviously take that one off as I complete this and it will go into the done section which will be available in the logbook. Now um, you can actually see the completed items so you have to collect them into this area which is very handy and you can also use the cleanup tag on the top to clean up your logbook which is helpful so if you want to get rid of all of these completed tasks then that's a handy feature so focus is an area where you can uh, dedicate your attention to to focus on a certain thing you've also got projects projects work in the same way that everything else works uh, you can start adding these projects with all of the right indications due dates start dates everything like that and start building up a project list projects can be easily created as well and you can assign them to different areas contacts labels you can even add a project state um, uh, whether the project behavior is sequential or parallel uh, which is all very intricate stuff inside of gtd uh, moving them to logbook trash and even converting them over to a reference list as well uh, so that's very handy and you can even clock click into this general projects list and see an overview of the actions and all of the details there so that's very helpful so there's also a reference as well so for example let's say you have a list of bookmarks or websites that you regularly use and you want a reference list of items uh, then you can do that uh, and that's actually very helpful so you can start adding reference items to lists or just reference lists to access stuff and it might be just a way for you to store notes uh, just things that you want to keep for later now I don't I mean the GT process allows you to do that but it's not necessarily necessary uh, if you're looking to process everything. And down here, I can access all of the items that are inside of the tags and individual areas as well. So areas are indicated by a slightly more rectangle box, which indicates your different areas. And you can access all of your different areas and filter them by area and use the keyboard shortcuts up in the top left-hand corner. So if you wanna correlate everything to home or everything to work, then that's easily done just up the top. Now you can manage your areas, clicking manage areas and modify everything. You can start adding new contacts and labels from up here. So it's almost like a hub of starting to uh, bring everything together. I'm just going to use all areas for now. But you can add all the tags. The tags are more oval, oval shaped uh, rectangles. I don't really know, pill shaped rectangles that can be accessed there. So you can see everything at a glance that is correlated to those things. And again, down here, the logbook and trash very simple concepts now up here you've got refresh which refreshes and syncs with the application now i want to go through the application very quickly with you it's very similar i was actually very impressed they've kept it quite consistent to the app here and just a note as well you've got search i was mentioning at the start so if you want to quickly add a new focus action that's f and it brings up this stand alone feature which is very useful uh, and if you want to create a brand new uh, project I can, oh, sorry, uh, then you can click P, which brings up another standalone item there. Now, as you can imagine, uh, you get uh, a sort of a cap on some of the stuff. So I want to explain the pricing just after we review the iOS application. And uh, just before we move on to that, I want to just go over some of the preferences. You can change the global filtering, task count, projects, inbox, uh, rapid entry, logbook, the feel, which I actually changed, uh, I actually moved it to compact, which brings it to close together. You can also have a dark one, uh, which gives the center, center of it dark. And you can even change the font, although Proxima Nova is a nice looking font. You've got calendar week starts on a Monday, you can change it to, and uh, also how to display relative days, where that due dates is there. And you can also have later as well, which is not really part of GTD, but some people find useful. So that's quite good, actually. Uh, you've got, you can get that new later area added. So as you can see here, this is the Nirvana HQ iOS application. As I was mentioning, they've got an Android one, very, uh, seem to be pretty consistent. So as you can see here, this is my next items. Uh, all of the stuff looks very similar to the web version and it seems to sync pretty well. So as you can imagine, um, I'm just gonna sync it, and what it will do is it will keep refreshed, and as I go to my next area, all of the great stuff comes up. Now, you can see and visualize all of the important stuff in here, so you can see all of the details, uh, and obviously nothing really that changes a great deal from web. I do like some of the, the functionality around it, so obviously you've got uh, the moving around for stuff, uh, and you can also, 
Uh, once you tap certain stuff, it like pops out quite nicely. And the same with the top. Uh, so that's some nice, just slight animation benefits. So once you get new action, you can add all the rel relative details to it and bring them all into the certain areas. But I mean, there's not really a great deal of difference between this application. You can obviously uh, modify some of the sidebar counts and things like that, but nothing that you can't do in the application uh, there. So, you know, it's very easy to do. The one thing I'd say is make sure that you sync between your devices because that tends to push the update versus actually doing it automatically. So that's the application. It seems pretty simple. Let's jump on to pricing. So if I wanted to upgrade to Nirvana Pro, uh, so just to note, we were using the free version there. Nirvana Free seems like a really strong addition. There didn't seem to be any limits that I found just in basic testing, apart from obviously projects and areas, which I didn't create too many of and reference lists. But the pricing is pretty simple. So if you want unlimited projects, areas and reference lists, it's $39 a year or $5 a month. And just to be clear, you've also got repeated actions and good karma inside of there, which I think is just a pun on words. Uh, but the application itself is just as simple as that. Just one thing to note as well, you can uh, modify a few of the settings on your dashboard. You can create tasks via email by sending them to a unique URL. Uh, so that's my one there. You can also change the focus in the week as well. Uh, so the days of the week that uh, will help you to give you nudges on your focus list for the day. You can also export some of your data um, and to, to data export. Uh, so that's very helpful access there. Now, as you can imagine, this application is still growing, uh, still developing, and I think it's very focused towards those GTD lovers. So what I wouldn't, didn't want to do today is butcher any of the GTD process. I wanted to talk mainly about the feature set and how you can use it. And I give it full credit. I think that this application is a strong resource, more of a heavy personal application that can be used for web, iOS, and Android lovers. So feel free to check it out. I'm gonna include all the relevant information in the description below. And I really do appreciate the community for pushing me to review this. Um, I'm going to be checking out more applications based on your opinions. So if you think that I should be checking out an application, go away in the description below or the comments below and banter me, just say, Francesco, you need to be reviewing this and mention the app. It'd be great to have that feedback. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's feature here on the YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe. And if you're not a regular viewer, hit that bell notification. You'll get all of the lovely features every single week. We put three or four a week out and I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.